Hello guys, this is Xeri and I here. Today we're playing Back to the Future. Now, if you want to see more of me playing games and doing challenges, leave likes below and leave comments of what you think. And subscribe if you want more of these videos. Now, let's go. <laughs> So yeah, this is my channel, and I'm just... Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 AM. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh. Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. 
If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals i times z, and e equals the square root of z times c squared. Uh, something's way off here. Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now, back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. Too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Hey, let me... Now, Biff. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Dad. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? 
I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. <laughs> do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> weird... stuff... Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but... I feel like it was telling me something. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! <laughs> I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley, way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah! Hey, Biff. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on! I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh... Not enough. Wow. Ah, uh, never mind.
took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Hey, Dad, wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Well, it's one for the monkey, two for the snow, three to get ready now, go, Scott, go. Quality's good, but it needs more. Let's make some noise. Now that is a dangerous amp. And now something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint! Whatever you say. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Ah, Doc. Where are you? Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway. I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed, uh... Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! 
trap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? <laughs> Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Huh. Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? <laughs> 